Here we go. As with the Integra R, the Civic Type R has been tested intensively at this Takasu Testing Center's winding course, which was designed similar to the old course of Nürburgring. The third Type R debuted in August 97. Civic R with a chassis, a generation newer, has a wheelbase 1.6 inches longer, but a shorter overhang compared to the three-door Integra R. Suspension and brakes, including the ABS, were fine-tuned after numerous tests. To increase the overall body rigidity, Three performance rods were added along with a stiffer front strut tower bar. Also the body thickness around the rear bumper was increased. A 30 kilo diet and a facelift in the interior has become the usual program for the Type R. However, all the gear ratios of the Civic R were identical to the base model. Therefore, improvements in performance were due to the B16B engine, which had been downsized to 1.6 liters from the Integra R's engine. The gear ratios from first to fifth and up to the final gear are the same in these two cars as well. Jeez, the Integra R is fast. Maybe I can keep up. Oops, I guess not. But the Civic R also managed to finish in the 15 second range. In comparison to the base model, the Type R engine, which has an additional 15 horses, has an earlier shift point. That results in a 0.58 second difference over a quarter mile. The sector time at the last corner in Scuba was even faster than the Integra R. Oh my! This is a circuit battle with 96 and 98 Integra R's under extremely difficult track conditions of rain and low temperatures. Here comes the Integra R. Gansan is trying to win this one on the Mazda circuit, which has very few passing points. He showed us some serious driving on the tight turns by using first gear at corner exit to avoid being overtaken. Civic is fast. The Civic car led the race and won the battle. How is a Civic car on flat surfaces? Equal strength at the start, but the Civic car is unstoppable after it's shifted into third.
This is going to be fun, but under 6,500 revs is a bit weak. The gear ratio of the Integra R is well suited for this course. The rear tires haven't quite warmed up yet. As always, the Civic R has a great suspension. If you master one of these, you'll definitely be a good driver. This 99 Civic Type R is owned by one of our viewers, and it only has 3,500 miles on it. The car is fitted with Spoon's racing brake pads for this test. It revs up to 9,000 RPMs oh so easily. Let's start this Civic R test here at the Suzuka circuit. By the way, this is right after the Japan F1 Grand Prix. It would be difficult to use first gear here. These kind of corners you turn tight and don't go outside. I wonder what my lap time is going to be. This is a lot of fun. I was easy on the clutch. Man, this car is fast! I can go through the S corner at almost full throttle in third gear. Can I go through the reverse bank the same way? Mmm, slow down a bit, around 6,000 revs. This uphill is a little difficult too. But this is fast! Here you have to shortcut the first corner. Yeah, it's fun on the Degner corner. I can approach this hairpin at full throttle. It's a bit dull until 6500 RPMs. The transmission feels okay, but the uphill is a little tough. Integra R obviously has more power from the bigger engine, but this Civic has a great suspension. It feels like I'm driving a racing car. I'm going full throttle into the S and the spoon corners. Can I go through here in fourth gear? Now let's drop it to third. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I feel like I'm Michael Schumacher in these chicanes too. So how'd I do?
This engine is 1,600 cc's, isn't it? The suspension has a lot of allowance compared to the engine power. The engine revs enough as it is, but even if you tune it, this suspension should be compatible with increased power. Not only in scuba or Ibiza, but you can drive with full throttle even here in Suzuka. Civic R is a great car. 